The little prince's journey continued to unfold, with more stories about the peculiar adults he encountered on different planets. Each of these grown-ups seemed absorbed in their own narrow concerns, oblivious to the larger wonders of the universe. He described a planet inhabited by a vain man who craved nothing but admiration. He expected everyone to admire his beauty and to acknowledge him as the most handsome, the richest, the smartest. The little prince found this vanity both amusing and sad. He obliged the vain man's request for admiration, but it left him feeling empty, realizing how lonely and unfulfilling such an existence must be. Another planet was home to a drunkard, drowning his sorrows in endless bottles. This man drank to forget the shame of drinking. The little prince, with his pure heart, could not understand such a vicious cycle, and it pained him to see someone so trapped in their own misery. Each planet and its inhabitant revealed more to the little prince about the oddities of adult behavior. Their lives seemed to him filled with tasks and obsessions that had no real purpose. He could not help but feel a growing sense of disillusionment about the adult world, a world that seemed so disconnected from the things that truly mattered. As he shared these tales, I found myself reflecting on my own life, questioning the things I prioritized and whether they held any real value. The little prince's insights were a mirror, reflecting the often overlooked simplicity and beauty of life.